just bugging. Oh man. So, what are we doing today with this bad boy? <laughs> well, we're going to take my 2016 Dodge Challenger SXT Plus. We're going to go trade it in for what I've always wanted. I've always wanted a V8 Challenger, an RT at least, but I didn't imagine I was going to find the, the dream car for me. Destroyer Gray, uh, Satin Black, 2018 TA Challenger, Ram Air. It's got the light air catchers on it and everything. So, you know, all the new cars I've owned, this will be my sixth Dodge. I bought a Dodge Daytona when I was in Germany, special ordered a Daytona uh, Shelby Z. Then I went to a Dodge Avenger RT. Then I went to the 2014 Challenger SXT. Now the SXT Plus and now a TA. With, with TA in the seats, I mean, and my wife's initials are TA, you know? <laughs> so uh, check it out. We're gonna go over to Orlando and take a test drive and uh, hopefully I'll be putting the, the new uh, Just Buggin sticker on each side of that Challenger. Stay tuned. Hey man, so we're here. Yeah, we're at Massey's Cadillac in Orlando, about to get rid of the six and get an eight right there. Ooh, man. It's uh, taken me three challengers to get to this, so <laughs> work my way up. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned. Yeah. yeah. We probably be driving out of here in that bad boy. <laughs> Hey man, so there's the new car. Yeah, and there we get a little funny information. Uh, we just walk up here and the guy goes, you're lucky because he almost sold it and he realized somebody else was coming. And the same thing is, my wife's initials are TA and the guy that wanted to buy it. He's a TA is too. He's a TA also. <laughs> so he was really upset that somebody beat him to it. So luckily I got here when I did. Yeah. Well, hey, let's check it out. Beautiful car. Hey man, so we're gonna take a drive? Oh yeah. Let's see how it is. Mm. Oh, <laughs> sounds different. Does this have the active exhaust in it or do you know? I just found out the other day it had a heat and cool seat when we the guy Oh, it does have the cooling seats? Yeah, it's got heat and cool seats. I didn't know it was okay. It does have yeah, that. That's great. Sure. That's so sweet. If you press super track pack. Is that where it opens up I, the I'm exhaust? I'm assuming so because I'm gonna press that. Or a super track pack. Super, super track pack. Wait. You see the one next to it? It's just because it's idle. Traction right control. So press sport again. This one? No, sport. Press sport again. Now press super track pack. And that brings all your things. I didn't see anything oh, okay. for. Uh, yeah, but you'd hear it because I, I watched on a video when you push this, it'll open up your dumps. I'm not underneath. too familiar with this one. But I, th I, I saw it as an option. It may not have come on the cars. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with it. I thought it was neat. I watch a lot of restoration shows and they bring in the old cars and they put those on them. Yeah, it's easy to put on. Yeah. This thing up a little bit. Yeah, that hood scoop. Mm. Oh yeah, me and my 79 Z28. Just wait until the timer's right to get a V8. <laughs> Do you have 
to put it in a different mode to use these? No, you should be able to engage them now. So you press the left one to shift down. Oh, yep, I felt it. We need to go more because it's a eight speed. See, it's got navigation too. Yeah. Yeah. It has got the blind spots and everything. Yeah, yeah. that's very Which, thing, That is sweet. We yeah. always love the challenges, but they the don't. blind spot was awful on these. Yeah. In the insurance company, when we called about it, they said yes. If it has blind spot and cross path detection, it'll be even cheaper than the insurance we had on the premium. Yeah. It's, it's, the only thing that looks like it's missing is like a depth. It's a sweet ride. I like hearing actually something under the car. Yeah, <laughs> hearing some exhaust. Yeah, we make some pretty high performance build BWs yeah, yeah. that'll really give a challenger a run for it. I was going to say, they don't weigh anything. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You put 150, 200 horsepower behind that, it's hard to beat it. But that's got to be fun to drive. Oh. oh, yeah. All over the road. Yeah. We're finishing up on one that's got 150 this week. It's a 254. And it would whoop our challenger, yeah, but it, it probably would whoop this one. <laughs> But it would definitely stay up with it in the, uh, from light to light. Oh, it would have a quicker would take takeoff. Over in the end. Yeah. These are more long distance kind of cars. Oh, uh, yeah. I love them. They, they feel great on an interstate. It's not like you're, you know, you can't, it's hard to hydroplane and one of these is so heavy. <laughs> but I've heard it for years. Why do you like those challengers? They, they're a boat, they weigh a ton. I was it like, I, was like, like I didn't buy it to go yeah. drag racing. But hey, you can fit actually if you want to five people in here yeah, with we full of luggage. Keys. We went to the keys in Miami, people. yeah, and we had no problems. In a Mustang, you can't do that. In a Camaro, yeah, you can't you do that. It's in definitely more trunk space. Oh yeah, it's a grocery getter. <laughs> as long as nobody leaves me a ding. <laughs> That's why ours looks nice. We always park that at the back of the parking lot. And then walk. That works too. That means somebody always comes park next to you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit of a pain getting out of Challengers, though. just needs washed up, but I like it. It's what I wanted. Got to wear it. Cool. That's sweet. I like it. Look at this. <laughs> little pin. Yeah, it reminds me of the good old days. I like how they put coating on that. I think it's going to be a big difference besides the size of gas. Yep. Yep, and I need some gas. My daughter just bought a uh, fruit pad at the gas station every other day. The challenge is, like I said, that's a Camaro's and West Station. Mm -hmm. So, would you like some water? Oh, yes. Some Massey Cadillac? <laughs> yeah, when you're putting down that John Hancock for, you know, you gotta have Massey Cadillac water. Yeah, man, yeah. No, but um, they have a sweet little cappuccino maker and got a cappuccino, all three of us. Pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's well Bottom, deserved. Bottoms up. Yeah, we've been looking for the past, what, maybe three years at different challengers yeah, to upgrade. Yeah. I've been wanting an RT for since the 2014 or yeah even uh, since the avenger before yeah, yeah so so i had a lot of equity in the, yeah and it's a trade-in so trade-in yeah. yeah it's sweet stay tuned guys we'll be leaving with it soon i like that there you go man just bugging at the massey cadillac north right. <laughs> <laughs> massey cadillac north there you go Here, hold absolutely up. yeah there you go
We got to mark our territory. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a Volkswagen Beetle does, marks its territory. <laughs> so, time to say goodbye. Let's make sure we got everything out of the vehicle first. Hey, man. So, look, look at them two pretty beasts. Teeny, meeny, miny, mo. One of these has got to go. And, and I say that one. You're going somewhere else, and you're going home with me. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I got a V8. And I got a bit better than an RT, I get a TA. Let's check Love. it out. Yeah. Sweet. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's go have some fun. Yeah. Bye bye, Blue. Yeah. Hello, Gray. <laughs> So how you enjoying it so far? Big difference from the Pentex V6, man. <laughs> we got GPS, man. That's oh, great. This is badass, man. These uh, suede and leather seats are just awesome. They're much, so much more comfortable yeah. than strictly leather. Sweet, and it sounds great having a growl under you instead of a yeah. whine. And <laughs> this has the uh, um, active exhaust, so I can hit sport track mode and uh, open up the dumps underneath the car and then the exhaust gets louder. Yeah. Awesome. That's sweet, man. Hey guys, so does this happen to look familiar? There's the AC unit that, where the wasp were. They bit you. Yeah. That building wasn't there with the Coca-Cola sign. What year is this? That's a 65. Oh, wow, it actually is? It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. I've got two sets on the other side. Oh, oh, I just got stung by a wasp. Yep, yeah, right there, man. This was your biggest viral video. 207,000 views. Yeah. Yep, I got stung by a wasp and went into anaphylactic shock. Stopped recording, sadly, and took a tiny little bit of a Benadryl, had a tiny bit of water, and uh, made it through it. But that was not fun to deal with that. But yeah, this is the place. This is where our biggest video, the Volkswagen Junkyard hunting video, went down a couple years ago and before Just Buggin'. And we know. It's actually been five years ago. Five years 14. ago. Yeah, yeah, that was eighth grade. Yeah. Yeah, we, I mean, got the Challenger all parked over there. And yeah, we figured since we were in the area, we'd stop by here. The gate was open when we were in five, but then. Seems like they're here earlier during yeah, the day. So. But it's called Discount Customs and Automotive or something like that online. I'll, I'll pop it up on the screen. But whenever this is open, the next time, We'll, we'll come by and visit because there is a bunch of VW still back there and a bunch of parts there and he says he yeah I do see a fender sitting over there but it says right here everything hey, must go I'd love to have that thing right there yeah that'd be too cool oh, yeah. yeah yeah so if you guys are interested in this place he says everything must go so you know come out here and buy you some VW parts man oh. hey man did you already trade in the car for a 440 yeah, Magnum? Uh, we still got the T8. <laughs> but it's good that it doesn't have the pistol grip like yeah, that. Yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> Is your ride, sir? It's a sweet ride, man. Yeah, we just ride. bought this. I wish it was. <laughs> oh, it's not? <laughs> no. I'm here to check it out, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's sweet, man. Manual. Look, 440 with the sunroof, it's with the real. hound's tooth, oh, with man. the manual. You, yeah, the pistol oh, grip. Man. You know how hard it is to find that center console nowadays? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to go check him out. Yeah. Yeah, we just picked this up today. <laughs> I just traded my Challenger in for this one, the TA. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's a cool car. Yeah, it is. Hard to find. Check it. I mean, the sunroof, and look at that vinyl top. You don't see any blisters. Yeah, I would so go to prison. <laughs> 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 Be like Dukes of Hazard Boys yeah. right there. Yeah, but, uh, that's the original top, and it's not all Yeah. 
Normally this will be all bubbled up. Yeah. I had a 68 RS Camaro I was restoring and I had to reconstruct all this area. Mm -hmm. Had to. Shaker hood. We get another beer. That's sweet. How y'all doing? Good. Pretty good. Yeah, Who's the owner of that 440 out there? Yours? That's sweet, man. <laughs> Yours? We just got us a TA today. It's like I'm amazed by the I'm amazed by the vinyl roof not being all blistered. I mean, that must have been in the garage for a while. Is that the original vinyl roof on? No. no? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've laid it down. I've oh, oh, I believe it. I'll take another bud. I like the, the first one I ever did was sunroof. Yeah, I saw the sunroof too. That's sweet. No, I haven't done the sunroof. Yeah. I just want to hear it. <laughs> yeah. These guys are wanting to hear it. Too. Yeah, we do. <laughs> this is standard six pack can. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah nice I want to hear it man. too. Sweet car. Man. As we're sitting yeah. here, you know, I'm talking cars and everything. This little dog walks up, and they say, "Yeah, this is uh, the neighborhood dog. His name's Hot Dog, supposedly, since he likes hot dogs. They give him a hot dog every day." But they're out today. And uh, they're out today, so she's gonna give him some baloney. <laughs> baloney. She does have a hot dog. Hello, he'll be happy. This guy's making a hundred grand. That's what you have to do. You won't come near you. Yeah, the driver's making sixty thousand. It is. He's living it up. Yeah, 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 he's living Supposedly, he goes to this place, which is Laura Lee's. He comes here every day. And then afterwards, he goes over to this little taco hut over here. And every single day, he tries and get food from both of these places. And then he makes his round all the way back home. He's living the life, man. Hey, man. So, we're done chilling and talking with the owner of the Charger. I had a couple beers, so now it's time for my wife take over the wheel. Yeah, and also he told us that uh, Shaker Hood normally doesn't come on a Charger. He actually took it off of a that's 1970 a Challenger and put it on a Charger. And that's a true four-speed car, so I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a sweet rod next to another sweet rod. So we had to come over here and park beside it and enjoy and have some good conversation and a couple of cold beers and now we're back on the road. Yep, there we go. After the little cafe pub we just came back from, we thought, you know, it's time to christen this bad boy. Yep, we are over here at Marco's Pizza. Gonna try some Marco's some Pizza for the first time. Yeah, we've seen all the commercials of all the curled up pepperoni. Boy, that looks good. So yeah. We're gonna go visit some friends and uh, take some pizza over there. So we need to christen the new Challenger with the Just Bugging sticker. Look at that. It looks good with the Destroyer Gray, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, looks great. Hell yeah. We'll put another one on the other side, but uh, as you saw earlier, we gave that one to the uh, salesman. Because yep, he said, yep. put that thing on my monitor. Yep, so we can spread <laughs> the word, man. So. Yeah, that's cool. We're sitting in a Cadillac dealership. Somebody will be sitting down there purchasing a Cadillac. Be like, what the hell is this? What you doing? Just bugging? Yeah, what? Please, please, let me scan that. And they scan it. Cadillac dealership. Yeah, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably get some subscribers. Yeah. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Hey man, so we got some Marco's pizza. Oh, yes. Mm. First time I've ever had Marco's mm -hmm. pizza. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey man, so it's been like a week. Yep, uh, we were over visiting family over there when we bought the Challenger last Saturday and we bought some Marco's pizza because they're going to be building one really close. And it was good. Yes, and uh, we really want to check it out. So when they open up the one near us. So uh, we got the Challenger and I did something extra special for the Challenger because it's like a ghost. You can't see it at night. And we don't want to get hit in our beautiful car. So no. we made an improvement.
That's too cool. If you see, it's a perfect split right here. So we're gonna go out and check a local restaurant out. What was the name of it? I think Mammoth Oak Brewery. Yes, and uh, we've driven by it and like, wow, I gotta go check that out. I love a good brew, you know? So we're gonna go check that out tonight and we'll review that restaurant also. Yeah. So come along with us. Looking. Mammoth. And sorry it's so yeah, windy. I had to look up Mammoth Oak Brewing Company in Leesburg, Florida. So uh, here it is. How do you like the LEDs? Looks you know? good. And uh, definitely people could notice us coming down the road. You'd see somebody attempting to pull out and then they go, oh, wait, look, there's something coming. Yeah. yeah the, whole idea. the purple destroyer was yeah, coming. That's the whole idea. So we're going to check it out and uh, I could use a good stout beer, man. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hey man, so what are you gonna get? Well, I'm thinking about it's either the pulled pork sandwich or half a rack of ribs. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about the brisket tacos. They look pretty interesting. What about you? I don't know what I want. First time here, so yeah. let's see. I'm looking forward to the brew. That's the best food. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> pork nachos are a big one. We just found out that the owners of this place is actually the same owners of Brick and Barrel, yeah. which we've included. I, I don't know what we're video, but we've in included there it there. Them, because yeah. We were trying to figure out who the owner was because yeah, there was yeah. another Mammoth Restoration business, and it's Mammoth, so we thought it was kind of connected, but it's not. And then we find out he's the owner of the Brick and Barrel. It's awesome. Yeah. We love the food at Brick and Barrel. And as you guys can see, we're in the same parking lot where we bought the red mini bike. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was supposed to meet us at the other one. Yeah. The other parking lot. Same he goes, lot. Oh, I'm over here. And yes. like, oh, okay. So we came over here, but yeah, yeah. hey, as you can see, they're playing some live music in there now. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really nice to see a good local business with some live music in our hometown. So really happy to be here tonight. Yeah. Let's see how the food is. So I got the beer cheese pretzels or pub pretzels, whatever they're called, but yeah. them bitches look good and smell good as a hell. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, how about that local band? I Hell mean, yeah, man. It's great. Woohoo! Yeah, I like the time. atmosphere here. Yeah, it's great. Cool vibes. Yeah. Hey, man. So after eating those jam up pretzels, we went in there and uh, talked with them a little bit. We checked and, out uh, the band. Yeah. And, it's and Sal and Izzy. Yeah, check them out. Kind of reminds me of Izzy Straddling. Yeah. <laughs> Guns and Roses. Yeah, you guys, you go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description for them. But yeah, they're pretty good. I hear more of them. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go in there and check out the owner, and it just so happens to be the same owner of the Brick and Barrel, which we eat there all the time and love it. Yeah, so. let's go. Where's he at? We'll find him. Food's being delivered. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's like beneath everybody. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we were gonna go see if we could find an owner. That oh, looks good. Could I try Thank one of those you. IPA or Imperial? Uh, the lightsaber? Yes. Yes. That'd be great. One of our biggest sellers. Do you need ketchup in the Ma'am. This shit smells so good in that fry. This that fry is so good. Look at that. Mm, damn. Half rack of baby back ribs. Smells so good. Tenders, onion rings. Mac and, and cheese. Look at that. Wow. Good That's good. fancy. That is fancy. Mm. See what it is. Mango salsa. Look at all this shit. Look at, I've never seen a french fry like that. That is cool as hell. Hell yeah. Let's mm -hmm. see. Hey man, so we're all done eating our food, which was good as hell. I mean, what are you drinking right here? A lightsaber this is dance IPA, party? Or? Uh, Imperial dance party. Yeah, lightsaber dance party. Lightsaber yeah. dance party. Yeah. yeah, and we also talked with Sal and Izzy yeah. at the, the great. Band, the yeah. live music. The great. Oh, the great. Yeah, and I, I had mean, to tip them. Some Matchbox 20. Yeah, I mean, I love man. Matchbox. Blind Melon. Yeah, Blind Melon. Oasis. Oasis. Such a good Adele cover, too. Yes, and it's been a while since we've seen some live action. So it was actually yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. So much needed. Yeah, but hey, you know, about to pay, got our to-go boxes here, and yeah. about to, you know, see all the lights. Great evening, you know? great choice, Dalton. Yep. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we've been wanting to get over here, and uh, lo and behold, it's the same owner as Brick and Barrel. And we love both these and, places. Uh, food is awesome at both places. So if you're in Leesburg, Florida, check out the Brick and Barrel or the Mammoth Oak Oak Brewery. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Dalton. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little sad getting rid of the 2016 Dodge Challenger B5 Blue, but it's really nice to have that TA and finally have a V8 because for about four or five years we were dealing with nothing but, hey, sweet Challenger. Man, what you packing? Oh, it's V6. Oh man, why didn't you get the V8? So finally, now we have the V8, which is great, and we don't have to hear that no more. Also, I think the LEDs really made the car, and I don't know, guys, what, what should we name it? Should we leave the name Destroyer Gray, like the color of the car, or Purple Destroyer? That sounds kind of cool if you ask me. But yeah, the B5 Blue Challenger that we had, it was great. I mean, throughout my four years of going through high school, we had that car, and yeah, we made some great memories in that car when going to Miami and the Keys and then I think even Rockville we went all over Florida in that car it was great but yeah guys if you're actually interested in buying that B5 Blue Challenger I'll put the link in the description because it is actually for sale on Massey Cadillac North website if you guys want to check it out also definitely go check out Mammoth Oak Brewery which is in Leesburg and also check out Brick and Barrel both owned by the same person and amazing food and it's great because both places offer two different varieties of food. Also go check out Sal and Izzy's Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, SoundCloud. Check it all out. They're great people and they perform some great live music. But if you guys enjoyed watching this video, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and have a just bugging every day. Stay tuned for the next video.